more we became involved when the opportunity was qualified. The, the customer was actually serious and they had the money to actually go ahead and um, purchase something. So our managers and senior managers and account managers were more in, you know, m more interested in, in making sure that the customer had the bucks, was willing to part with it and to come out with uh, some new services in the market. So after the opportunity was qualified, the network systems and solutions team became involved. And what were they involved in? Well, I, I guess, again, you can bring that back to the actual roles um, one of the planners might have had. Um, for example, there could have been a market and services planner role, more like a solutions advisor to the account team. They could have had a role in the network architecture and verifications, which, which made them more an architect. They basically designed the solution from scratch. Or you could have taken on the business case analyst type of role, which said, you know, should the customer really be investing on this and will they get anything for the investment in return? So we engaged the customer at different times and we'd have kickoff meetings with the customer to establish what the project was and the duration of that project and what we'd actually do and commit to um, in response. A lot of our work was built internally, build internally back into the sales uh, account team. So any work that we conducted in the network system solutions team would be billed back as a cost of sales, for example. And the customer, if they decided to actually go ahead and purchase uh, the products that we had put forward to them, would have received that uh, sort of service free from us if they actually went ahead and purchased. If they didn't, they'd actually have to pay the account team uh, a number of dollars for the work that we had um, delivered to them.